I'm getting spoiled. Inside. So, I found this dope spot via my cousin, right? Um, it's a Camelot spa. I think it's a C spa, C spa, which is an extension of the Camelot spa. So, I'm just here for... Okay, I don't have a place to put that. But, I have a... Literally, I have six treatments here today. I booked myself in for about six treatments. I'm really exhausted. I'm just really spoiling. <laughs> just really getting spoiled, really. I'm tired. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Try and relax. It's December the 16th. People are out drinking and partying. Now this is my vibe. You can hear the music. <gasps> so serene. Let me show you. Definitely dark and blurry. <sighs> yeah. It's a very nice intimate spa here. But very dope. <laughs> so About to get a facial. I'll see. What treatments do you think I should do frequently though to prevent like breakouts and stuff? Yeah, but while you mm -hmm. now during pregnancy yeah. and even after while your hormones are calming down and yeah. you, um, if you especially if you're gonna keep breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. And my hormones are for the will take some time to, to, to go back to normal. And, yeah. So um, I would say like a deep cleansing facial would probably be the thing. Yeah. So today, then we're doing a rebalancing facial, which is a combination of deep cleansing and then trying yeah. to balance out oil production yeah. and then to obviously treat the already existing, existing. breakouts and yeah. congestion. So when I'm going to exfoliate, mm -hmm. then um, I'm going to steam a bit and then once we've steamed, I'm going to do a bit of my extractions. Then we'll put on the rebalancing mask mm -hmm. and then we'll leave it on for some time yeah, at least while i massage your scalp so that is over now more than just, just 10 yeah. minutes yeah, yeah. sitting on the skin then that way um is was the essential oils are penetrated deep enough for what was to reach mm. your oil glands i was it to reduce oil production yeah, yeah. um uh, and um clear the areas that have already got that clogged yeah. upness from but always worries me about the facial is not having those same products when you go when home. When you go home. Because when you get home, you're using something Just using something else. Different. You know what? I deal, although it doesn't... Re it's a myth which you need to have one range. Mm -hmm. You need to have the right habits, in my opinion. Okay. Um, your products, as long as they address the right combination of needs, Mm -hmm. will ultimately give you a more results. However, um, the difference between something you buy off the shelf mm -hmm. and what you get prescribed by a skincare specialist mm -hmm. is that Mawia mm -hmm. Edgar's or wherever or to discount yeah. your Tengama products, yeah. you haven't had the advantage your wounds are a proper skin analysis. analysis. And so um, you just go according to how you think your skin feels, right? Like yeah. on Amanda, you can, you can see you've got a breakout. Mm. Um, you can see you've got some dark spots from the breakouts. Mm. Um, and then Tampa, you're feeling a bit on the oily side. Yeah. You would get to the shelves and just take um, some products for oily skin, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then Utoluguti, um, they are not appropriate because you are not factoring in Uti, um the oiliness can actually be there as a result of dehydration. Mm. So if that's the case, mm. what you should be treating is the dehydration yeah. so that that oiliness will diminish. Will and diminish. How, how that often works is that, for instance, so initially when you walked in, I said to you, Guti, I took Kama products with hydration mm. because I, I figured I'm treating a pregnant lady. Mm. And pregnancy dehydrates because the baby takes everything mm. the moisture whatever nutrition 
your baby is using up as well it's not as just well. you yeah so there, there's no longer sufficient supplies for your skin and for your body mm. because it's not just you alone right yeah. so oftentimes you you have to replace moisture because the skin would start to dehydrate but what happens when your skin dehydrates mm. besides the fact that it starts looking dull and maybe it starts feeling tight mm. is that um your when your brain mm -hmm. gets the message which it is tightness mm -hmm. Um, in your skin mm -hmm. or it gets a message which there's flaking flakiness in the skin or there's dullness in the skin yeah. it assumes it always assumes that you are tight because you are dry you're dry and so it sends a message to your oil glands to, to produce, produce extra more. oil so that it can combat you what it thinks is dryness yeah. yeah one meanwhile it's dehydration not dryness because classic dryness means you need oil mm. but dehydration means you need water mm. so it means wuti ama products that you then should use should provide your skin water, water. without adding oil mm. not oily products, products. yeah one not products for a classic dry skin mm. so unfortunately it dryness and dehydration they both feel the same because barely you get initially you experience that tightness of the skin but the way to tell for sure would if it's one or the other with dehydration often times your skin will feel tight and it will look dull like gray no matter what yeah, you do yeah. um but it won't necessarily flake and then what you might see is that ubone the random breakout because now i need to your brain you're not sending oil it's not oil, sending water, not water. So classic dryness is flakiness. So you feel that initial tightness as well, but you actually also see that your skin is flaking. Mm. You'll see physical gray flaky patches, patches. or you'll even see it cracking. Mm. Yeah, well, now that when it, when it flakes and when it cracks, mm. you actually do need oil oil to repair that. Mm. Yeah, well so most of the time during pregnancy you actually find that yes the oiliness is also there because of ama hormones while for are imbalanced yeah and um, uh, and so it is secreting more oil than it should you were even saying you are sweating much sweating more much more than what you normally do yeah. so definitely it means your body temperature is elevated and whenever the body is hot mm everything functions at a greater speed or at a, a greater rate so even your oil production will certainly be much more much more yeah so your breakout is is hormonally influenced there is um actual increase in oil production but then the dehydration is also playing a role mm -hmm. so that means Wuti, your com the correct combo of things for you to be doing is basically something that will increase water levels but at the same time you also definitely still need something that will constrict oil yeah, production oil production yeah so mauya to an acres and i'm not bad mouthing in clinic mm -hmm. but it's the best example because when you buy a clinic i need to often they give you the clinic three step what what three step yeah and that three step is for one condition so mabeti mofi would see my skin is breaking out mm. they will give you the one for oil control or control yeah right mm. and when they do that it means from the cleanser to the toner to the moisturizer the mm. whole point is for it to strip oil, to strip oil from your face the problem then becomes while you are stripping 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 mm. even the necessary oil Oils and moisture away. is being stripped off mm. So you start to end up with a whole different set of other problems because manji you've over treated the one over the yeah, one so you need you need a combination and when i say combination it might be that you know um your cleanser can still be like a gel cleanser which is classically for oily skin for oily skin um uh, your exfoliator can also be for an oily problematic skin mm -hmm. um uh, and then when it comes to moisturizers so during the day when you're up and active really you will you most likely produce a lot of oil mm -hmm. so you can use like a, an oil controlling moisturizer but in the evening 
take care of the dehydration, dehydration. put on a hydrating serum, put on a hydrating moisturizer mm. so that your skin can then get what it means in terms of the moisture yeah. during the night. The other alternative is this brilliant, brilliant, brilliant mask. Mm -hmm. It's not cheap. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's um, it, it, it's 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 part of our Talgo range, which is our a French mm -hmm. product range. So it's an import. Yeah. And um, uh, by these are Ipodish, Ipodish mm -hmm. masks. Already in Jamaica, the name we like. The name sounds so fancy. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's the most phenomenal product. I have used in 15 years in therapy mm -hmm. and I'll tell you why one I need to be long vision and yes. me I want to do something quick fixes quick. Yes. I, but also I'm very impatient I want to see results, results. Like, right away Absolutely. I don't want to be using a product Bangja would see oh no in a month's time we'll or you know results. like when the product finishes mm. then you'll see um, something happened like don't give up within the first three months yeah. dude Mina within the first three days I better look at my skin and see and something see, yes and so this is what attracted me so majorly to the Thalgo brand number one but secondly to this particular mask, mask yeah. I'm lazy I don't want a long routine I don't want to get home and use five tabs of five different things, things. Yeah. Um, in the evenings and besides, because of the nature of my work, I'm on my feet most of the day. You don't I'm have tired the type of time. when I yeah. get home. And then there's still baby. Baby yeah. must still bath. Yeah. Hadi must still eat. Mm. Yeah, well, so yes. I want something that's going to be effective with minimal effort. Effort. Yeah. And so what I liked about this mask was, it, first of all, it's got like 63 different vitamins, minerals, and trace elements in it. So it packs like a powerhouse of all things mm -hmm. essential for all the different skin, skin types. types and yeah. skin conditions mm -hmm. that any one person can experience. Uh -huh. um, then it's got the oxygen. Okay. And we all know that like, it's, the oxygen is essential to life. Right? To life, absolutely. And um, every breathing sound mm -hmm. requires oxygenation that's why we have blood because our blood carries the oxygen and it carries sure. it to the entire body mm -hmm. and that's what keeps the functioning in all our cells healthy mm -hmm. so whenever you start to experience some skin conditions mm -hmm. especially on the face it's because the ph of your skin is upset for some reason yeah. it can be because of the weather of the climate mm -hmm. it can be because of hormonal changes in your body mm -hmm. it can be because of what your day-to-day -day routine currently is at that time and mm -hmm. um, so it can definitely also be incorrect use of products or using the incorrect products yeah. on the skin so now certain conditions then will start developing because the ph apple is off a natural skin pH or a healthy skin pH should be 5.5. Okay. That's like ideal. Yeah. But that often isn't the case because of all these things that I've already counted. Yeah. Because they all play a factor. Mm -hmm. So, um, when there's 63 different vitamins, minerals, and trace elements, and they are supposed to address every skin condition under mm -hmm. the sun, mm -hmm. granted, it will take care of however many conditions you've got going on at once. So like for you, we've established, you definitely have the, the oiliness yeah. from the hormonal surge. Yeah. There is a little bit of um, dehydration in certain parts, mm -hmm. um, particularly the cheeks. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bit of pigmentation as well, because again, mm -hmm. among hormones, whenever you're in the sun, you're going to pigment. But yeah. also because of that dullness from the dehydration, yeah. your skin will show yeah, but in the different colors, it's, different it's colors, not yeah. going to have one uniform color. Mm. So when you apply this mask, it's got this very clever technology that they've put in it. Uh -huh. And that technology helps to identify what you need to go. Yeah. So in other words, it's going to fix each of the problems that your skin is showing simultaneously. Okay. So isn't that great? Like one product that's treating more than one more than one thing yeah. right 
Okay. So where it finds which you are dehydrated, it's going to administer yeah. some of the hydrating, hydrating from the 63 different things. Mm. Where it finds you've got pigmentation, it it's will send what is brightening to that area. Where you are dehydrated, it's going to send hydration yeah. to that area. Yeah. Where it finds you are aging even, it's going to send some hyaluronic and some collagens yeah. Yeah. to help with the anti-aging, to help to, to boost your collagen and your elastin. Yeah. In that the most is unlike normal mask, and it's more fucking mask, often you have to, you do the whole cleanse, exfoliate, mm -hmm. You mm. put the mask on, yeah. you have to leave it for a certain amount certain of time, time. Yeah. then you take the mask off. Yeah. And then you still have to put on your moisturizer. Yeah. If you're using an eye cream, you must put on your eye cream. Your if eye you're cream. using a serum, you must put on your serum. Yeah. With this one, it literally becomes your open eye cream. Mm. So you skip all of, those. all of those steps. All you need to do is to cleanse, exfoliate, put on the mask. Yeah, and then you're done. And then you leave it on. You leave it on. So you it's not one of those you have to on. rinse off. You yeah. go to sleep with it. You sleep okay. with it on, and you have to sleep with it on because mm -hmm. while you are sleeping in that eight-hour period or six-hour period, however long that you're asleep, mm. firstly the oxygen is acting. Yeah, it starts to activate in the cells as well, and mm. um, and that cell activation means you're getting very rapid cell renewal cell or cell regeneration. regeneration. Yeah. Then, um, once that regeneration has happened, then you now your skin is open, your pores are open. Yeah. They start absorbing and receiving the other 60 odd yeah. minerals, Mineral. trace elements that are in the mask. The mask and then yeah. again, while you're sleeping, it continues to travel from the surface into the it's dermis, good. into sure. the deeper layers of the skin. Because actually, by the time you see any damage on the surface, Mm. The, the actual damage or the yeah, actual issues underneath. are happening underneath. Yeah. So it then aims to fix the damage underneath oh so that goodness. ultimately your skin can heal inside out. Mm. So the oxygen will be healing, but then all those mineral trace elements and vitamins are actually then targeting the specific problem. So you yeah. are actually treating problems, uh, uh, rather the cause of the problems as opposed to just treating on the symptoms the because level. what you're seeing on the surface is the symptoms yeah. but what is actually where problem the damage is, is what deeper. the problem is is actually in the dermis yeah so it's a brilliant brilliant mask like literally when you wash your face the next day so it doesn't feel like a mask it doesn't cake it doesn't yeah form like a thick layer on your skin mm. actually when you put it on it has, it has like an effervescent type of effect so you're gonna know how when you pop in an effervescent uh, capsule in your glass oh yeah yeah that, that that is, yeah. On. Yeah. So it does that. And it goes on as a cream. Yeah. And then when the oxygen starts to act, you'll notice that certain parts of your face start to look like they've got fine the fine risk of like bubbles. So yeah. That's when that oh. is going on. Once that stops, your skin normally after about well, ten minutes yeah. has absorbed most, most of, of the it. cream. So when you're gonna go and sleep, if anything Mm -hmm. that you would do before would be just to you can take a tissue and dab off excess mm -hmm. when i say expensive <laughs> we're talking 1800 rand <laughs> Shucks. but if you've ever heard of is that for the treatment of the mask, mask. Okay. so then that means you are looking at having this like facial at home mm. at least for i would say for how long yeah i would say about two months so instead of spending one eight thousand one pop in a tree on a treatment, yeah, you are then actually getting longevity more about going you to be using that product home. for for a good amount of time. And then you only need to use it once a week. Mm. And um unlike what the traditional way to use masks where you must put on like a thick layer of mask, mm. with this you don't. You I would say Probably about um, just under half a teaspoon yeah. amount is how much you need to so put it on your face. Lasts a bit longer. So it does last long. It's in a 50 ml container. 50 ml. Mina, when I use it, it lasts me three months mm. because I um, 
in any case, first of all, now that I know all these things about skin, mm. my regimen in general is about hydrating the skin. Yeah. So my skin is sufficiently moisturized, it's not so thirsty. Mm. So initially, really when you start, especially while your skin has a lot of different problems and while it is dehydrated, you'll find it sucks the product up very um, quickly. Yeah. But once your skin is starting to hydrate as the, the, the product is fixing, mm -hmm. um, you find you need to use a little bit less of product because now your skin feels satiated with yeah. less. And it's so pointless to do uh, a facial on a skin that's congested if you're not going to extract because whatever you put on top is just going to kind of sit on top. Sit on top. And it's not going to absorb properly because all my pores are clogged up. So I'm going to extract what is necessary. pleasant part of the facial yeah. but it's probably the most essential for a successful facial well, it makes sense because essentially when you're just laying the product on top mm -hmm. so it's not going to do anything for you you're going to come out of here and be like okay felt nice <laughs> but that's all it didn't do much it didn't do much Usually extract one arm. But yeah, so you were talking maintenance. Like you can mm -hmm. continue to do ama, like these um, express facials, ama thirty minute facials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, at least once a month. The dermis that means it's there for a good twenty eight days. For quite yeah. some time. Until your skin is doing its normal regeneration, twenty eight days down the line. But can you see already, Ubuntu with just exfoliating, steaming, moisturizing, mm. I don't know if you can see because from that camera. Yeah, <laughs> this one is... That's it. Oh, my skin looks glowy. So I'm moving over to the Petty Cure and Manny Cure station. Just getting dressed now. We are done with our spot treatment. We are done with the spot treatment. Though. 
Oh, I'm not there. <laughs> Sleep in the kitchen. Yeah, but yeah, it was a dope day. It was a cool day. December the 16th, looking so cute.